This week I'm here in the garden at Bluebell Cottage and I created these two huge borders just over a year ago to try to create an area which was full of colour and great form for about 10 months of the year but also to attract butterflies and bees into the garden. Now we all know that nettles and wildflowers will bring them in but there are plenty of plants you can choose which look even more beautiful to our eyes but the insects love just as much and I'm going to show you two or three of them now. This plant's one of my favourites for wildlife. It's called a globe thistle and you can see why it's got very thistly leaves but the flowers are globes. Its proper name, its botanical name is Echinops, Echinops retro and the bees absolutely adore it. The flowers start opening from the top and come all the way down and new flowers carry on for weeks so keeping our bees fed with nectar for weeks and weeks on end and I love its tall architectural shape. It really makes a bold statement in a border and it loves full sunshine and very well drained soil. This beauty is an Echinacea, or cone flower is its other name, as you can see from the cone shape of this central dome. Bees love it, and so do butterflies. It's an absolutely gorgeous colour, and it's scented. And the best of it is that it's a perennial plant, so it means it will come up year on year. So once you've bought it, as long as it likes where it is, in sunshine and good well-drained soil, you'll have this plant for years to come. But this is another gorgeous perennial called Agastache and it flowers with these fantastic blue spikes from midsummer right through to the end of the year. And the bees love it because it's very, very rich in nectar, but I love this upright form that it's got and also the, the, the leaves, wonderfully scented, very herby but warm smell which is really attractive as you rub past it. So that's three wonderful plants that I think would grace the most elegant of gardens and yet bring a real wealth of wildlife into your garden as well.